happy uh, Thanksgiving, everybody. And um, I hope Colleen Ballinger has a miserable birthday because she's doing her fundraiser grift again today. Apparently, her birthday falls on Thanksgiving this year. Okay. Um, all right, then. So let's talk about that. Thank you, Amy, for covering this. Um, I think she's going to get into the nitty gritty of how the um, fundraising is super shady to begin with. And um, Colleen's grift here. Let's, let's talk about this. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I always seem to overdo the bronzer, especially on this side. So I don't realize just how much I'm actually putting on my face until it's too late. And then it's like, how are you supposed to get bronzer off? You look fine, Amy. Just move on. For your face without it either smearing or wiping away the foundation underneath and then it leaves a big blotchy mess. If any of you guys are like makeup artists and you, you can solve me that riddle, please let me know. Yesterday. So that's what I'm going to share with you all today. I also wanted to say there's a link down below if anyone wants to donate to my childhood cancer fundraiser. I do it for my birthday every year and I'm going to continue that tradition. I've promised a lot of moms and a lot of kids fighting cancer that I will never stop doing it. So I didn't want to stop just because of, you know, how the... And how does the money exactly get donated? Whose name does it get donated under when it gets turned over to these charities that actually have the um, the FEIN, FEIN numbers that people can use to have the tax write-off for their donation? How does that work, Colleen? Who, who's getting the credit for that money when it gets donated? Right? Right, Colleen? This year is gone. I know that it's not going to be the same as it's been in the past. But even if we raise like $500, that's $500 more that can be used to help kids fighting cancer. So I'm going to do it. And I'm also going to donate privately as well. We're going to be talking about Colleen Ballinger. And we're going to be talking about one of my kind of favorite topics as of late, talking about fundraisers. Um, I speak quite a lot and I have spoken quite a lot about Alicia Doherty's version of fundraisers and, you know, giving back and all of that beautiful stuff that comes with being a family channel what has gone on with Colleen Ballinger now she has been known around her birthday time to set up fundraisers where she creates a fundly account which is basically like it's like a separate entity uh where you know it's like crowdsourcing uh you can create a little page little profile and then people can then choose to donate to your fundly page with the hope that that creator is actually going to send the money to the charity organization foundation that they promised to send it to yeah so if it's done right it's actually a very good way of you know using your audience and giving back to a good cause and everyone loves charity and everyone wants to be able to give and donate and Colleen has been known to raise a hell of a lot of money when she's been doing these you know crowdsourcing fundraisers so last year she did the los angeles i'll leave it up just here because i can't for the life of me remember what it was called now but i've got like the page where she raised money and i believe she literally raised like 130 grand or so, like something incredible like it was a lot of money okay it was a lot of money what well, this year she's doing about three grand that has already raised 111 supporters just from filming today and today is the 23rd if the 11th or if you're american 11 11th 23 you do it the other way around um Colleen, every year for my birthday, I raise funds to help kids fighting cancer. This year, the money will be donated. Let me explain to you how this um, type of fundraising gets exploited in politics. Um, there are, especially in smaller campaigns where they're not really looking, they're not really paying attention to how they're raising money. There are very few, as far as I know, like there was, there, there was one city... Um, I think it was in L.A. County where everybody got in trouble for how much uh, they were getting paid on city council and how they were raising money and so on and so forth. That was years ago. I think that was like in the 90s. And it was a huge scandal. But I've seen um, much smaller s scale type scandals where um, 
um, somebody will be running for city council. They will hire some staffers. The staffers will set up their own like GoFund, GoFundMe's, right? And then bundle donations to the campaign, therefore making it impossible for the candidate to be audited because um, the, the money is then donated as one big chunk to the candidate and there is no record of who was actually donating. That's called dark money in politics. Now, I don't think that what she's trying to do here is as nefarious, except that by bundling it together that way and then donating it under her own name, she gets a massive tax break. And none of the people who donated to her Go GoFundMe get to claim that as a, as a donation on their taxes. Because that information, as far as I know, is not provided. Did to hope for ATRT and the Sky Strong Foundation. And these are basically what it entails. And it sounds like it is a really nice thing to do, yeah? But... There is a slight but to this whole fondly clean Ballinger backstory uh. in the sense that quite a few people are not that convinced that either all of the money <laughs> hasn't gone because we do know that last year clean is listed under one of the people that did donate within a certain bracket and it would, you know, it would show that a majority of the money, if not all of it, was donated to the Los Angeles charity um, that she was doing last year. It's a bit of a catalyst to all of this because she's never publicly said just how much, like, proven that this money, all of the money, has gone directly to the charities. And one may say that, you know, if you have as much money as Colleen, why are you asking for other people to donate? The problem where it comes in, right, is that the Fundly, so Fundly, the actual, you know, page, the kind of in-between man, um, charges money so that every single time someone donates, not all of that money is going to go to Colleen to then donate. But when you decide to give money through Fundly, not all of that money is going to be going to Colleen. And if you go on any of the um, if you go on any of the pages that she's ever wanted to donate for, there's always a donate option. So then you have to wonder why. Why is it that she is wanting to create a fundly account so that everyone can send money there when actually when someone donates, they're not fun the, the actual charity organization is not going to receive the amount of money that you sent in because funnily take a cut and this is how much money they take yeah exactly like why are you filtering this money at all rather than just providing the link to the organization and asking your fan base to donate directly to them what the hell is wrong with you Colleen and, you know, she hasn't learned her lessons because people have already done extensive um, videos talking about this, criticizing the way that she's managing these fundraisers. You literally could pick a charity, Colleen, and put the, the direct link to that charity on your videos, on your websites, and everywhere else, and... Um, you could even work with the charity and ask them if they could put like a, um, you know, whatever it is, dot, dot com forward slash Colleen and actually get credit for referring these people to the charity, right? You could do it that way, but no, you're, um, engaging funnily in this, you are, somehow donating it all under your own name it, it's just a weird scam it's a weird scam and here she is on social media again doing her bullshit like she did not learn a single thing from getting outed last summer 
Fundly charges fees based on the scale of the fundraiser. Individual campaigns are charged 4.9% of the funds collected, plus 3% credit card fees. Campaigns that reach certain donation levels receive discounts on the fee percentage that Fundly charges. Campaign donations raised from 50,000 to 500,000 are charged 4.4%. Donations raised from 500,000 to 1 million are charged 3.9, etc., etc. This is also backed up on the GoFundMe website where they say that Fundly has a platform fee of 4.9% per day donation. And if you actually go on the Fundly website, it says Fundly has a 0% platform fee for organisers and relies on the generosity of donors to operate our service. Now, when I had a proper look on the Fundly website, they keep it pretty hush-hush about the fact that they do in fact charge a fee for donors uh but they but they love to brag about the fact that they have a zero percent charge on people setting up you know um ways to donate they don't have an issue with people um, and this is not me having a go at funnily but i really did have to search high and low to find out this information mm-hmm. um which i think is really misleading if they're saying that you know it's zero percent charge. No, it's only zero percent charge to the pe- to Colleen, to people, to the organisers. Them saying we rely on donations. Yeah, but if you don't make it clear that you are taking a cut, I just think it's a little bit misleading. Overall, the amount of money that Colleen has raised on Fundly, so they just go via overall. The overall money that she's managed to collect, you're going to be charged at four point four percent. Now, my maths is absolutely gold awful so i'm gonna have to do like some calculations or some of you guys can but you know if she's made like three grand already is like raised already for instance doesn't matter how big it's gonna get it's gonna be charged at 4.9 percent which is basically five percent which is quite a lot of money when you're talking about when it gets bigger and bigger and bigger and then of course the fee charge fee comes up comes down but i don't really think it comes down by that much so you have to kind of look at it from that element of going well you know, if you just donated to the actual websites, if if Colleen had just left a little link and then people could just donate, like, you'd be able to save people their money because at the end of the day, they're, they're paying a certain amount of money, which isn't even totally going to the cause that they want it to go to. This has been the most important and meaningful thing I have done with my career and kind of in my life other than, you know, having and taking care of my own children. I have the other elephant in the room, which is what a lot of it's really um, disheartening to see such manipulative people like Colleen Ballinger have such large platforms to work with and having duped so many people with her bullshit. It's really gross. Um, and she just keeps coming back, you guys. She, she just keeps coming back. And how did, how, Colleen, how is it that you decorated every room in your house in complete white? You have kids, right? You have a very interesting consultant. People do talk about is about charity tax deductions and the fact that, and this is what people think. This is what people think. And bearing... Bear this in mind, we have never been shown exact proof of just how much money she has donated. We just know that she definitely did donate the money. The money, does. we don't know exactly how much, mm-hmm. last December. Somebody basically going and donating a hell of a lot of money, mm-hmm. it is possible for you to claim that back via your taxes. Okay, so let's just say that Colleen has set up this Fundly account. Um, she's got given all this money. You know, or she hasn't, but the charities have. She is then able to go when she has to log in all of her taxes. She can claim that back. So it says on the US Chambers of Commerce website, it says generally you can deduct up to 60% of your adjusted gross income in charitable donations. However, depending on the type of organization and type of contribution, you may be limited to 20, 30 or 50%. And then I then went on the IRS and it says pretty much the exact same thing, saying that, yeah, it's going to be 60% of your gross income. Um, And this is fairly across the board. And there's lots of information out about this stuff that is like beyond my tax knowledge. When you collect money and when you are able to then 
put it in under your name, you can get you can get money back from your taxes, which does just make it seem a little bit sneaky suspicious that she's choosing to go with a fundly who charge interest rate on anyone that donates to them yeah because she doesn't she doesn't care if her fan base is actually getting ripped off in this process she only cares about that tax deduction that she's going to get as a result of bundling the funds and putting it all under her name and then b uh, it's this whole charity tax relief situation, so she could actually be quite a lot benefiting. Anyone who's from the States, please let me know, and if you know a lot about this, all I know is that, yeah, you can claim back quite a lot of money if you're donating to charity. It does just make this, it does make this really sneaky suspicious. And, you know, is she doing a good thing? Yeah, by raising the money, but like I say, I do think, I, I can't believe I'm saying this, but I do think that... I don't know. I think there's something a bit sneaky suspicious going on. If you could prove how much money actually went in and then also, you know, how much money, you know, did did she claim that back? I mean, you can... I, I, the more cynical side of me is thinking that what she's wanting to do is set up this fundraiser and then she's then able to, like, claim it, claim it back. Because at the end of the day, why are you getting all of these people to donate to a charity of choice when they're being charged extra money? You can very clearly, to a, clearly afford to pay quite a lot of the money that's been donated and then you're then, like, putting it forward underneath your own name... And, the, yeah, the cynical side of me does kind of think that she's doing it for, you know, tax relief purposes. But that is just my opinion, and that is the opinion on quite a lot of other people's minds. And there's a whole bigger backstory to do with this that I don't know a lot about. I just know that she posted quite recently about the whole funnily thing. And I remember reading up quite a lot of stuff about this, and it did. And, you know, honestly, that, that video footage that you showed, she looked guilty she looked like she knew what she was doing was wrong she's like every year i do this tax fundraiser you know to and i've been very proud of it she her, there was uh really no energy in her describing what it was even if we can raise five hundred dollars she knows she's about to get busted on this as being like a tax scam is my guess like that's my assumption allegedly right um and so she doesn't have a lot of energy in even promoting it at this point and she looks guilty when she's talking about it kind of get me thinking imagine that a lot of her stands are going to find this video and like bash me over the head with it but at the end of the day you can't lie about facts and the facts are this isn't like me creating some sort of conspiracy theory the facts are she has she is choosing to use a website which charges interest has she told people this instead of you know telling people to go and donate to those particular causes but through their own name not underneath their name you know not underneath Colleen's name um and number two yeah she that there is a chance of her being able to claim back a lot of money on this and because she's never given specific proof it's just a bit it's just a bit confusing I, a lot of celebrities and things will choose to just you know just send a link hey yeah go to this place you can donate here as opposed to kind of taking the money and then dealing with it themselves and i'm not saying she hasn't ever donated money because we clearly see that she has but everything i'm saying is backed up i'm not saying here you know waving a little red flag being a conspiracy theorist it's just sneaky suspicious and i would absolutely love to hear your guys's thoughts and feelings on this have a wonderful day wherever you are in this world yeah <clears throat> uh she's she's a terrible person if you are still supporting any of her channels you shouldn't be she's a terrible person other than that, I hope you have a th happy Thanksgiving. I hope you get to see your family or at least your friend's family or whatnot today. And, um, you know, uh, stay away from scams.
because there's going to probably be more than just Colleen out there trying to scam people during the holidays. That's when people open their wallets and want to donate and feel good about themselves. If you're going to donate to a cause, make sure that it's something that you actually get a tax deduction for. I mean, like, don't do it just because you like a celebrity. That's ridiculous.